I'm Lance Roberts. Welcome to Three Minutes on Markets and Money today. Hey, we're talking about is this bull market rally a actual start of a new bull market? That seems to be the consensus by the mainstream media is that with the Fed cutting rates, the bull market is back or is this potentially another bull market trap? We talked about here recently the fact that markets have been performing exceptionally well, but the one thing to notice is, is that there is a definite differential between the S&P 500 market cap weighted index, the blue line, versus the red line, which is the equal weighted index. What this suggests is, and again, if you notice going back, the, these two indexes tend to track very closely together, except here recently as more and more money has flowed into big mega cap companies, right? Facebook, Amazon, uh, Apple, Microsoft. Those companies have been driving the markets really over the course of the last 18 months as we've gone through this consolidation process in the markets. But notice that when the deviation of big mega cap companies gets too far away from the equal weighted index, we tend to get a correction. We see that deviation currently happening today. As we've talked about in yesterday's Market Minute, that the markets have also gotten back to extremely overbought conditions on a short-term basis. This suggests that this rally may have to at least have some sort of correctionary process in the near term. Now, that doesn't mean the market's going to crash. But a reversion back to the 200-day moving average, as an example, would certainly be very logical at this stage of the overall market cycle. Again, with conditions back here to very overbought, volatility remaining very compressed, there is a risk here that markets are going to have a short-term correction this summer. One big issue is that over the course of the last several years, one of the biggest drivers for the stock market has been corporate share buybacks. In fact, corporate share buybacks account for almost all the net stock purchases in the markets over the course of the last couple of years. And a lot of this has been driven most recently by the tax cuts. Now, of course, the tax cuts led to repatriation of overseas dollars, but the tax cuts have now begun to fade here. Repatriation is slowing, and that money that was being used to buy back corporate stock, well, we're already starting to see that peak here. And again, since corporate stock buybacks have been a primary factor in the driving the market, it's not surprising here. As repatriation slow, so do corporate buybacks. But most importantly, if the economy begins to slow more than expected, expect corporations to stop doing buybacks to shelter that cash for future needs. Um, the things you can do right now, of course, rebalance risk in your portfolio. Take a look at what you own. Clean up the portfolio. Um, also, make sure and compare your portfolio against your allocation model. Very likely, your model has gotten outside the tolerances that you originally set up in your allocation. Bring those back into focus and, of course, have positions ready to execute, both on the bullish and the bearish side here. You know, look at opportunities in gold and bonds and other areas of the markets as well outside of stocks. Have ideas in place to take advantage of market cycles. There's always a bull market somewhere, but it's not always in stocks. And, of course, you can get today's article at our website, realinvestmentadvice.com. I'm your host, Lance Roberts, for three minutes on markets and money.